como que o trabalho começou? Será que era o plano de Deus desde o princípio ou será que o trabalho é uma consequência do pecado? Será que famílias têm um dever dado por Deus de estarem ensinando seus filhos a trabalharem e serem diligentes? Então, hoje a gente está aqui para conversar com a Mrs. Mary Bicky. Ela é autora de alguns livros e entre eles o livro A Lei da Bondade e também o seu livro mais novo Ensina-os a Trabalhar construindo uma ética positiva de trabalho em nossos filhos. Esse daqui é um livro muito necessário, todos os links estão aqui na descrição para você dar uma olhada. E hoje a gente vai estar tá conversando um pouquinho sobre esse livro aqui. Mrs. Vicky, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome, my pleasure. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you, um, how did work begin? Was it... Um, because of the fall, or was something that God established before the fall? Work was definitely before the fall. Mm -hmm. God himself worked in the work of creating the world. And when he created man and woman, he gave them a job mm -hmm. to take care of the garden. Of course, work at that time was good and perfect, as everything was. And, but work was still a pre-fall institution. Mm -hmm. But after the fall, of course, then work became a burden. Mm -hmm. And there's the sweat and the toil and the thorns and the thistles. So there's, there's a burdensome part of work. But God has even redeemed that. And he, he gives us joy in work post-fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is so beautiful because... This gives Christians a, as you say, a positive ethics mm -hmm. on work. So what would be that positive ethic, ethic uh, my tongue got mixed up, mm -hmm. ethics? <laughs> well, so much of life is taken up by work. Mm -hmm. the, the commandment says, six days shalt thou labor, mm -hmm. and the seventh is a day of rest. And the other commandment that um, bears on this is thou shalt not steal mm -hmm. or, and thou shalt not covet. So uh, yes. it's God's economic plan that we work in order to support our family. And one person is a farmer, one person is a doctor, one person is a nurse, and we all work together and we have money to live and so that we can take care of ourselves and our people. So it's it's a beautiful thing. And work has kind of a, a negative connotation. There's mm -hmm. the attitude, thank God it's Friday, that we live mm -hmm. for the weekend. But a Christian really should say, thank God it's Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, because every day is a gift of God. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes talks about um, that it's, it's a gift of God, that we can enjoy the good of our labor, the fruit of our labor, if we're believers, mm -hmm. of course, and it's, it's a gift of God to yeah. enjoy it. But work itself also can be very, very enjoyable mm -hmm. because God gave us talents, we get a sense of accomplishment, and it, it, it's a good thing. We feel worthwhile, we feel valuable, we feel we have a purpose, mm -hmm. and that's, that's all part of, of God's plan. Mm -hmm. And we have to include children on that too. Mm -hmm. If we expect if we want to say oh I, I don't want to be mean to my child i don't want to make them work a child's work is play mm -hmm. well a child does play a lot but by the time they're 18 years old they're they're going to be an adult and they have to be ready to to work yeah. they have to be prepared through all those years in a gradual way to know how to take care of themselves mm -hmm. and not just tying their shoes but feeding themselves and and then learning how to prepare food. If we wait until they're teenagers or adults to teach them how to work, they are going to have some deeply entrenched habits of laziness. Mm -hmm. They might be spoiled. They might have a sense of entitlement, like I want my household helper to take care of me or my mm -hmm. parents, and they're not going to grow up. Yeah. So whatever we teach them at a young age, is they're going to learn it well and it'll be useful for when they're adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is beautiful because we see that God's plan truly works everything together for our good and even work works together for the good of a child even, right? Yes. 
Yes. And uh, children feel good when they can accomplish something. Mm -hmm. They might resist. They mm -hmm. might cry and scream and kick and say no. Mm -hmm. But if we as parents work through that resistance and make them work, they will end up being happy about work. I, I've seen it in numerous cases, and I know it from my own experience, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is so interesting because we see that God gives us a command to work for His glory, to do everything for Him, but He also lays out ways in which we can do this, and one of them is to work, whether in our houses, with our parents, or even a career, even. So what would you say are some practical ways in which parents, mothers, even grandmothers can help their children and grandchildren to work? Mm -hmm. And fathers too. Yeah. Fathers, mm -hmm. especially with boys mm -hmm. and grandfathers. But um, in, this is just a spoiler alert. In the back, <laughs> the last chapter of my book, I summarize um, the, the book in a sense and I have a whole bunch of words that begin with an E mm -hmm. and if I could just pick out uh, four of them the first one is entreaty mm -hmm. so prayer this this is a big job to mm -hmm. teach our children to work so don't do it without prayer you have to pray to God mm -hmm. the next one is an example so as parents we give an example to our children of work around the house and we include them in that work they're part of the family. They eat the food that the family eats. They have a bed in the house. And if they're at the age that they're able to participate in the work of the family, then they should. Mm -hmm. They should. Otherwise, if you don't, um, and then that leads to the second thing, or the third thing, expectation, that you expect your children to be part of this work. If you don't, they will think mom and dad and maybe a domestic helper are their servants. Mm -hmm. They might not be able to even say those words, but mm -hmm. they will have that attitude. Mm -hmm. So at a very young age, include them and have the expectation. And if they fall on the floor and say, oh, I don't want to do that or I can't do that, you just keep expecting it. Yes, you, you, you will unload the dishwasher. You will help set the table, you know. Mm -hmm. So entreaty example, expectation, but also enjoyment. Mm -hmm. And I would say enthusiasm and excitement go along with that. So enjoy work. It doesn't have to be a burden. Yeah. And enjoy it together. And you want family time together. You want quality time together. Mm -hmm. And a lot, so many hours of our life is taken up with work. Mm -hmm. So work together and enjoy it. And uh, the reinforcement of like, thank you, Johnny, for doing that. That's mm -hmm. a good job. Of course, don't expect perfection right at, mm -hmm. at the beginning, but work work up to that. Expect improvement, uh, but not perfection mm -hmm. right away. Yeah. And, and just the enjoyment of it. And they will, I promise you, if you work through this and you have your children work, they will be happy. I've mm -hmm. heard it from so many families that have followed the principles in these books. Mm -hmm. this book and uh, your children will be happy because they have a sense of uh, accomplishment and uh, a sense that they can do something mm -hmm. that th when they meet an obstacle I can work my way around this I can figure out how to do this I know how to change the brakes with daddy I know how to do dishes or cook a roast with mommy you know and that that's all part of preparing them for for adulthood. Yeah, and this is so good because it also trains the parents on patience and kindness, right? Yes, <laughs> true. Yeah, so how does work build up godliness and character in a, actually a mature character in a child? Well, along with expecting them to work, we, we teach them. Mm -hmm. And all of life is to the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So whether you're a nurse or a mom or a dad or a lawyer it's all to the glory of God so work it, it, it is is a part of that it infiltrated with working for the glory of God mm -hmm. and just building skills um, it is very important for building character and woven into all these um, outward uh, parts of work is also things like integrity 
-hmm. and honesty and, and putting in a, a full day's work, not, not cheating and not cutting mm -hmm. corners, mm -hmm. um, giving your employer uh, your all when they're paying you. Mm -hmm. So these, these values are also very, very much a part of, of uh, teaching your children to work. Yeah. And lastly, um, Mrs. Bicky, what has inspired you to write this book? Well, I have to admit that I was a lazy child. <laughs> and, but my parents persevered, and mm -hmm. I realized that if I wanted to respect myself, mm -hmm. and if I expected other people to respect me, that I had to work. Mm -hmm. And then when I learned that, I found it enjoyable. Uh -huh. And then I became a teacher, and at first I was a nurse, and then a teacher, and then a mom. So I, I observed a lot of different children, and I love my favorite subject to, to study overall is studying people. Uh -huh. So I would always try and think, okay, what, what makes that child tick? Why aren't they working? Or why is that child working? And I would just, and the, the whole subject of work fascinated me. So I would write down notes and uh, thoughts that I had. And then um, the pandemic came. Mm -hmm. And I was sharing one of these thoughts with my husband when we were going for a walk. And he stopped me and he said, okay, Everything else is shut down. There's no church activities. Nothing is going on. Now's the time to write this book. <laughs> and with his encouragement over the period of about a year, I, I got the, the job done. I would work at home, write at home during the day, mm -hmm. and then I would um, go to his study in the evening, and we'd sit there silently, side by side, both doing our, our own work. And um, I might add another incentive for, for writing this book is because um, I think our culture today is anti-work. Mm -hmm. There's an entitlement mm -hmm. attitude. And young people, they honestly don't know how to work. So mm -hmm. if we can raise our children to know how to work, they'll, they'll be, be much better equipped for the work world out there. Not only will be at, they'll be at the top of the competition, but also they will just be better equipped to, yeah. to follow their talents that God has given them. Yeah, this is so good. Thank you, Mrs. B. also for writing this book, but also for the interview and all the wisdom you shared here with us today. You're welcome. My pleasure.